welcome back to my channel. It's been quite a while since I filmed my last video. Um, since I think I spoke to you, it was my Belgian vlog, random vlog, which hopefully has gone up now. So I thought um, I'd kind of do a bit of a sit down video today because I want to get back into filming again. I've started a new job, so that's kind of going on at the moment in my life. Um, it's been quite hard to find time to do kind of vlog stuff and um, YouTube. Um, because obviously it takes a while if you do that kind of thing, you'll know. Um, and I've also joined a gym, so that's also taking up quite a lot of time. Just kind of getting into the routine of that. Um, and I have a really annoying ulcer in my mouth, so if um, I do kind of talk a bit weird, that's why. Um, but anyway, so today I'm going to do my January favourites. Um, since it is nearly the end of January and I feel like it's been quite a long month for me. Um, just because so much has happened, I feel like... We should be in March already, just because of how um, how fast it's gone. So I've got quite a few like beauty favourites, lifestyle favourites. So I just wanted to share them with you and talk you through the things that I've been enjoying this month. So I'm going to get right into it with my first new toy, which is um, my iPhone. And I got the iPhone 7 Plus and rose gold version because it matches my laptop, which is behind me. Um, I like the size of it. I find it really... Um, comfortable in my hand, I thought it would be too big but I've kind of got used to it now and I've also bought a case for it which is, um, it was 99p actually, you can see it here, it's just basically like a clear silicone case and it came with like a tempered glass screen so I just find this um, size phone really good um, to use because everything looks bigger, like Instagram looks bigger, um, camera looks bigger and the camera seems not like vastly better than the iPhone 6 which is what I had before but um, I feel like the quality has improved slightly so absolutely loving my iPhone um, this month and I wasn't meant to get it until February, March but I managed to get a good deal on it so um, that's why I got it sooner. Um, I'm going to talk about the next one before I forget and that is Cal, Cal, not Cal, Gel Nails, C-A-L. Um, I've been getting them done by a lady called Pippa who lives in Bicester which is where I live and she's done a really great job um, on my nails. Basically, I find it really hard to keep nail polish on my nails. It just seems to chip every couple of days, which I'm sure a lot of you have that problem too. Um, and I've tried shellac, which kind of lasts quite a while on me, maybe like a week or two max. Um, but this has been lasting so much longer. Um, I actually don't have it on today. I've got it on underneath because I was doing something at work and it caught on one of my nails and it peeled away. I didn't have a similar colour to match it, so I painted over them with like a metallic Leighton Denny colour. But generally, um, I find cow gel nails last about four weeks for me. Um, I think they say up to six weeks, but um, the only thing that really prevents that for me is that your nails grow in the nail bed, so and you can see it growing, which doesn't always look as nice, but um, my nails have been growing so much longer with um, this kind of method of nail polish. And it's kind of like a thick gel um, that you basically paint on your nails, so it um, really dries quite glossy, quite hard, quite shiny. Um, and I just really like um, the effect of it and the fact that I don't have to paint my nails like two, three times a week because I like to have them done all the time and look nice for work. So um, it's been a massive time saver for me. I think it costs about £30, which is quite a lot, um, but every... I'm kind of limiting myself to every month or so um, and hoping that I can kind of keep that up because my next appointment is the end of 24th of February I think, um, that might be my dentist appointment, I'm not sure but I do have one coming up at the end of February. Um, so until then I'm going to have to stick with, um, hopefully this will last a while over the other colour. But next time I have them done I will show you, um, probably post it on Instagram or I'll talk you through it in a video. So you can see what they look like, but they look like shellac, but apparently better for your nails and nearly as long lasting as acrylic. So I'll leave Pippa's details down below if you're interested in booking an appointment with her um, or just interested in finding out more about Cal Gel nails because you might have one near you um, and I thoroughly recommend them. On to kind of skincare um, and hair care. Um, so I've got L'Oreal Paris Purifying Clay Purity Mask. And I found this amazing at, um, all over it's really, really good, but particularly if I have a spot or something that, um, I had a few this month just because of like stress and like a lot going on, traveling, that kind of thing. 
And if I put a tiny bit of this on like a spot they have, obviously you look really attractive, <laughs> um, when I go to bed, then it really dries them out. Um, in the morning when you wash it off, the redness is gone, any swelling is gone, and it really kind of you know, um, really purifies the area. Um, so I've really, really been enjoying this. Um, I also use it maybe once a week on all over my face, just for kind of an extra deep clean. But yeah, really, really good. And I think it reminds it reminds me of kind of a bit of Too Faced, the kind of drying out effect you get, but you don't get flaky skin with this um, because my skin would flake if it did that. So um, yeah, it's really, really good. And probably I think around six pounds from Super Juggle Boots. So um, loving that face mask from L'Oreal. Hair-wise, um, it's been a bit of a traumatic month for me in terms of my hair. So basically I wanted to get done before I started my new job because I wanted it to look nice. Um, I was really happy with the place I went to before when I had it done, like a few highlights and things. So I went back to the same place, had the same girl and it was just horrendous. Um, I kind of wanted to be a bit lighter but she literally made like the underneath of my hair like blonde. So um, I had it done in the evening and then I came home and checked it and was like, I didn't like it. So after crying and that kind of thing, like you understand if you are a girl and I've had a bad hair experience, it's just not nice, especially when you spend all that money on it and it's not cheap at all to get your hair coloured. So um, I went back the next day, which is something I never normally do, I never complain generally, I'm very English when it comes to that kind of thing. Um, I went back the next day and was just like, I'm really not happy, it's not what I asked for. Um, it just wasn't blended right and even like if you brush it back, because um, I have my hair out quite a lot, it was like zigzag where the blonde and the brown stopped. Um, it wasn't blended at all. So I went back and she wasn't there luckily, um, but the manager did my hair instead and it was still, it was better, but it was still not really what I'd asked for at all. So that was annoying. Um, and then I decided to do kind of my own. I thought, well, if no one else can fix it, I didn't want to have to pay again to have um, another hairdresser do it on short notice because I was starting my job on Monday. So I got like a nice and easy um, root touch up kit just with like a brown colour and kind of blended that on the roots area um, and it did help but that did wash out quite quickly so they, then I got a L'Oreal preference I think it's meant to be good for like long lasting colour um, in I think it was like a medium brown <clears throat> so I used that all over my hair and I think I'm a lot happier with it now um, it's not too dark but not too light. I didn't want it blonde because it doesn't suit me. I really realised that when I had it done. Um, it kind of reminded me of when I was 18 and I had really bad highlights that just didn't look good. Um, so I feel more myself with this hair colour now. But anyway, that long story was aimed at this product, which is um, the TG Oatmeal and Honey Hair Mask. And after all the tra trauma my hair has gone through this month, um, products like this have really helped to keep it um, Kind of get it back to feeling soft again because I had it bleached um, quite a lot and then I've dyed my hair maybe three or four times this month um, and it's not long but it gets kind of like dry quite easily so I've been using this um, and Philip Kingsley elasticizer but this has been my favorite I think um, I got it for Christmas it's just quite a thick um, cream and you apply it to wet hair um, so I usually put this on in the shower or wet my hair before I go in the shower and leave it on for as long as I can really. It says three to five minutes but um, I like to leave it on a bit longer if I can. And recently since I've joined the gym I've been putting, um, today for example I put on a hair mask and then went to the gym with it in, looking really good obviously, um, and then went into the sauna and I think the heat really helps to um, helps the mask to pen penetrate into your hair. So yeah, I've noticed quite a big difference using this and my hair start, it's starting to feel a bit like itself again, so that's good. Um, so yeah, it's definitely one for dry damaged hair. I do have fine hair but it doesn't weigh it down, so if you have similar hair to me, um, then I think you'll really like this one and it smells great. For makeup this month, I've been using quite a few things I got for Christmas, um, which is kind of natural I think for January, but um, one of my favourite products that I've discovered recently is a L'Oreal True Match Highlight um, in the bronze shade. It's a liquid glow illuminator but I find it really kind of helps to warm up my skin this time of the year um, because I am particularly pale at the moment and it just kind of gives an overall glow without being too 
orange to shimmery, it kind of has the right balance of um, colour to glow. So I really enjoy using this underneath um, powder or if I'm wearing foundation it goes really nice in this and that. Because um, it's kind of like a primer, um, but not. Um, it's not really pore minimising, I wouldn't say that. Um, I'd use the Body Shop Insta Blur for that. But as a kind of extra glow giver, um, I think this would suit most skin tones. I'm quite pale and it blends in, as long as I blend it in okay, it's fine. Um, and if you have darker skin, then I think this would look really, really great on you. So yeah, you can add a bit extra if you want a bit more highlight, but um, just a kind of pea-sized amount I find is enough. And yeah, it gives me a really nice kind of warm glow, which um, I've definitely been needing this month. A more expensive purchase, but one that I don't regret at all, is um, something I got a while ago, which is a L'Oreal, not L'Oreal, <laughs> Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow. And I've had this for maybe a year now, because I got it Christmas of 2015. Um, and it's still going strong. I'm running out of the bronze shade, which is really sad, the contour shade. Um, but I just find that you can't beat it for the kind of colour and the highlight shade. I just find it really, really beautiful on the skin and it's one that I try to reserve for special occasions but I do just find myself reaching it for it like quite often because I just like the effect it gives and it can be very natural. I use the brown shade sometimes as an eyeshadow all over um, if I'm not really wearing eyeliner. And the highlight shade is really pretty if you're going out in the evening um, or again for special occasions or just during the day if you'd like to um, have that glow. But yeah, I really, really like this and I will definitely be getting more when I run out. Um, I'm hoping it'll last a bit longer, but I would say this is definitely worth the money and I've really kind of rediscovered my love for that um, this month. Another rediscovery um, slash repurchase I made in January is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Um, I was using, I'm still using L'Oreal False, False Lash Sculpt, um, but I find I like to finish off my lashes with that, but as a thickening, volumizing product, I find the Too Faced mascara like unbeatable. Um, the wand is quite big, but not too big that it, um, hopefully you can see, that it gets too messy, um, but I just find this is the quickest thing to use in the morning to give me the kind of big lash look that I want. Um, I don't like to spend ages applying layers and layers of mascara, so, that's generally what I do instead of eyeliner. Um, today I've got a tiny bit of eyeliner on, but not much. Um, but generally I just use this mascara, which I've got on now, and then a final layer of the L'Oreal Full Lash Sculpt, and that leaves me with the long, thick lashes that I like. Um, so yeah, it's £19, I think, so more expensive, but I think it's by far one of the best mascaras I've ever used, so definitely think it's worth it. Um, in terms of price and quality. And my favourite perfume at the moment is Mila Harris Fleur Oriental. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, that will be linked down below, um, you'll know how much I love this perfume. My mum got it for me for Christmas as a surprise because she has it and I love it. Um, I'm just going to spray it now. And this is the 100ml version of the Audi, Audi perfume. I can't speak French, I need to learn. Um, Oh, I just ate a bit. Um, but anyway, it smells really, really good. It's just a kind of, I can't even describe it. I'm not going to attempt to, but um, it's so unusual and I get lots of compliments on it. Um, it's kind of a bit musky, a bit spicy, not very sweet, um, which is normally what I go for. If you watch my channel, you would know that. Um, so yeah, it's, it makes a nice change for me. It feels more grown up and I've just been wearing it all the time and I've used it quite a lot and it's still up to here, so really really happy with that and I find it I can smell it at the end of the day as well which is really nice and not often something I normally find with fragrance so Mel Harris perfume great um, there's quite a few different scents I think in the range so check them out because I don't hear many people talk about them um, talk about it as a range but I think it's really good so um, I thoroughly recommend that and I thought I would finish off with a food favorite because I like food and um, I particularly like almond butter and my favourite flavour slash brand at the moment is the Meridian Coconut and Almond Butter. Um, I'm just like addicted to this stuff. It's got all roasted almonds, coconut and honey in. No palm oil, no salt, um, but it's just so tasty. I mean, I've got about half left. 
which will probably last me a couple days. Um, but I put it with chocolate, I put it on porridge, I put it with granola, I eat it with a spoon. <laughs> if I've made cookies, I'll eat it with those. Um, I just really, really like it. And I think it's not very cheap, it's about £2.53, um, which is cheap if you don't go through it as quick as I do, but yes, so um, that's a favourite. And another favourite which I didn't want, to, I don't have to show you, but um, I made this month was some cookies and my family told me they're the nice ones I've made, um, I'm not sure ever, but in a while. So I will link that recipe down below. Um, they were just spelt flour and ground almonds um, cookies with raisins in. So I will link that recipe down below for you and hopefully if I make them again soon I will do a blog post on those because they're really, really tasty. Um, coconut sugar without anything in them, not too sweet. I think that is all my favourites for the month. Um, I'm looking forward to February because I feel like I'm kind of going to get into routine with my new job and just gym and stuff and life and kind of get everything sorted and planned for the year. So I'm hoping that I find more time to do my blog and YouTube and Instagram and that kind of thing. So yeah, thank you for still being subscribed and watching me. Um, I will be posting as much as I can, as much as I can find time to. Um, so yeah, let me know what you're up to this month, what your favourites have been this month, because I'd love to know, because um, I'm always looking to try new things and I don't always have time to um, read hundreds of blogs to find out what is good at the moment. So let me know your favourites and I will see you again for my next video. Bye!